Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing a 30 minute TheraBand workout. This is going to tone and strengthen our whole body and it will be at an intermediate level. Pilates based exercises is what I'll be using today. So you need to grab yourself a nice thick mat and also a TheraBand about a meter and a half long. Okay, so let's warm it up first. Let's bring our TheraBand down onto the floor here. Bring your arms, your hands underneath your legs, taking a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, I want you to draw the belly to the spine and lift up out of your back, lengthening and leaning back. Breathing in, lift, open out through the chest and exhale, do a small curve going back, but don't slouch and fall into it. Keep your spine long as you do this. And lifting up, breathing in, pull the shoulders back and exhale down. And two more times, lifting up and down. Good, and one more time, up and forward. Good, now let's take the arms out in front. Keep your feet grounded, your knees are at about a 90 degree angle. Always think lifting tall, so a piece of string pulling the head up towards the ceiling. Set your shoulders down and back. Take a breath in, leaning back, hold it halfway with your abdominals nice and tight. Always activate your core first. Breathe in, take the arm out to the side, looking right around behind you and bring it back. Keep the feet grounded, inhale, other side, bring it around and back. Good, let's do four more here. Breathing in, bring it all the way around, rotating through the upper back and back. Breathing in, keep the other arm straight as you take the arm back. And we've got two more here. Breathing in, open it out, good. And around, and one more time. Open, and around, good. Let's bring ourselves down to the floor now, nice and slow. Okay, let's do a few bridges, bringing the hands down beside the hips, feet are hip distance apart, open out through your shoulders, take a deep breath in, settle down through the ribs and draw the belly in. Squeeze your glutes, your butt muscles and let's come up into a bridge. Push the weight forward, the hips are reaching towards the knees. Breathe in at the top here, exhale, lower down, take a breath in and exhale lifting up, good, inhale at the top. Exhale, reaching down and lower. And inhale, exhale, lift. Good, so in this exercise, I want you to be focusing on two muscles that you're feeling work. Your glutes, your backside, and also your hamstrings. Do that by pushing your feet into the floor, the heel, the outer edge of the foot, and the big toe. Let's do two more. Reaching the hips forward as you come up, scooping and tightening through those abs. Good, and down. And hold the next one up. We're gonna hold it here, keep your hips nice and steady, raise and lower the right leg, 90 degree angle for five. Tap the floor, and four, and three, two, one. Let's change legs, and five, four. Stabilize through your hips. Two, one, and down, good. Lower down through the spine, bring your knees in, pull yourself up. I want you to wrap the TheraBand now around your right foot. So make it nice and wide, going around. Stretch the left leg to the floor. Lower yourself back down again. Now we're gonna ground our left leg to the floor, so make sure the knees are bending, really push it down, reach through the foot. Make sure your hips are level on both sides, and then we wanna pull our shoulders and elbows into the mat. I want you to reach the foot into the band and keep the leg as straight as possible working your thigh muscles. Okay, so it's a bit of a stretch, but we're gonna go into leg circles from here. So hold it at the point that you're comfortable and you can feel a slight stretch. Just a few more seconds. And now we circle. As you circle your leg, I want you to keep your abs really tight, pulling in towards the floor. So take the leg out to the width of the shoulder, down around to the ankle, and then across to the other shoulder and up again. Breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze across that other leg. Breathe in, keep your leg muscles working, thighs and also glutes. Breathe in, breathe out. So the whole time I want you to feel like your body is an anchor pulling down into the floor. Okay, that's where the work is. If you're really relaxed and not actually working and wobbling everywhere, then that's uh, not gonna be very effective. Okay, so we wanna go the other way now for six. Inhale and exhale up, and five, 
and up, draw the tummy in, kick those ribs down, four and three and two and one. Lift the leg, let's stretch it in. Should be a little bit more flexible now, even after doing that uh, short exercise. Good. Now let's bend our knees in and place the other foot into the band and swap it over. Stretch the right leg down into the floor now nice and firm. We're going to hold this stretch for a few seconds here, pulling the shoulders down, drawing the abs in. Deep breath in and out and circle for six. So the width of the shoulder, the ankle and then the width of the other shoulder for your circle. And five and around. Good. And four. Breathe in and breathe out. Three. Two, draw your belly button in, and one. Let's change sides, and six, and five. Feel the, the leg reaching away into the band. Three, and two, and one. Good, lift and lower. We're gonna place both feet into the band right now, and we're gonna hold our legs at a 90 degree angle. So from here, I want you to keep your legs as they are, draw your tummy in and start to lift the chest. We're gonna hold ourselves halfway. Now bring your hands almost to the ends of the band so you've got a bit of um, distance that you can pull the band apart. Holding your legs here, lifting the chest, scooping in nice and tight through the belly. Stay long in the spine so the crown of the head is reaching away. Hold it here. Now we're gonna open our arms to the side for 10 and nine. And eight, should be a bit shaky through the tummy, working your abs. And six, if the neck is a problem, you can lower your head. Be very focused on drawing in your tummy either way. And four, and three, good. Two, nice big arms, one, good. Stretch both legs up. Start to lower them towards the floor, breathing in. Now the band will help you, but I want you to use your own strength. Use your abs, only go to the level that you feel comfortable. When you've gone far enough, if your back starts to arch, that's enough. Then you pull back up using those lower abs. Press the ribs down and let's move down again. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs and glutes together, keeping the elbows down on the mat, really controlled through the band. So this is a great way to, to work up to full double leg lowers without the assistance of a band. But even with the band, it's still challenging if you're doing it correctly. So we really want to work on straightening our legs, getting all the way, almost all the way down and then really driving the energy up through our tummy. Are you feeling that? Keep going down, squeeze through the legs, keep your abs tight almost touch the floor and then pull back up with that strength. Let's do four more leg lowers. We want to be able to do this as well with our spine and our head on the floor. This is where it's important that you do have a nice thick mat to support you so that your lower back, your pelvis feels okay on the floor. Otherwise, a couple of really thick towels would be ideal if you don't have a thick mat. Down and squeezing up, should be feeling that. Let's do one more. I want you to really make sure your tummy doesn't pop out as you do this. If it is, then you've gone a little too far. Don't go quite so far next time. And lifting up, squeeze it up. Good. Now bend the knees back to 90 degrees. And I want you to take the arms over the head for 10. Draw the tummy in, and nine. Breathe out, and eight. Working into the backs of the shoulders now as well, and seven. Keep your legs really steady, six. And five. Four. Almost all the way back if you can, three. Tummy tight, two. Good, and one, well done. Let's take our feet out of the band for a moment. We're gonna break it up with some more concentrated tummy work right now. So lifting the legs to tabletop, 
bringing the arms to the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw your belly in, stay long in the spine, unweighting your body off the floor. Hold yourself here, single leg stretch out, 10. Now, as you come in with your knee, I want you to take your arms back over your head, but don't, lift, don't lower your shoulders, keep them lifted. And nine, and back, and eight, and back, seven. As the leg goes forward, the feet stay the same height. And five, tummy strong and flat. Keep your shoulders raised and three, two, good, and one. And we're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Now going to double knee stretch. So we pull the knees in, keeping the tailbone down on the floor. Stretch the arms back, reach the legs forward, circle your arms and pull in for 10. And around. And nine, and round. As you do this, keep the hips very steady. The arms are moving nicely through the air, smooth and controlled. Feel as if you're pushing through resistance. And seven, six, breathe in, breathe out, and five, Four, keep going and nearly there, keep your shoulders up. Three, and two, one, how's those abs? And down, you should definitely feel it. Okay, let's bring our band back around the feet and we'll go up into our teaser preps and half teasers. Okay, so from here, make sure the band is, the feet are in, is in the center of the band. We've got the legs at 90 degrees. So from here, we're gonna to start to pull ourselves up off the floor and then hold. So you're in almost a V-sit or a half teaser. You've got your legs at 90 degrees, okay? Lift them up, lift out of your lower back, pull your shoulders back. And then from here, holding almost the ends of the band, depending on how long it is. I want you to get full range here, moving out to the sides for 10. And nine. And eight. Hold yourself up, stay strong. And seven. Good. Six. Keep lifting. Five. Four. Three. Working into those back muscles two and of course your abs one and hold it here so from here i want you to keep your abs nice and strong stretch both legs up into a v-sit or a teaser position hold for three two one bend it in take a breath and keep lifting do not slouch we want to train our body to stay aligned in the spine pull up through the top of the head Draw the tummy in, stretch the legs forward. Five, four, good, three, hold it. Two, one, and in. And one more time, this time we're gonna hold it out, we're gonna add some more arm movements. So I want you to go right to the ends of the band here. Have your arms up and then reach to the ceiling for 10. And nine, good, keep holding it. Eight, squeeze the legs. Use your core, seven and six. Great toning for the arms and the shoulders, five and four. Nearly there, three, two, one. Now let's lower our legs, bring our hands together and our body at the same time, nice and controlled. Don't fall, keep it controlled, stay with it and down, good. Take a breath in and out. I want you to come back up off the floor, keeping the legs strong, glutes squeezing, and keep your body long into your teaser again. So the legs start to lift, the body lifts, and we come up. This time we take the arms to the side for 10. And forward. And nine. And eight. Right back. 
Seven. Good. Six. Great to tone and strengthen legs. And of course your core. Four. And three. Good. Two. And one. Let's lower it with control. Legs and upper body at the same time. Well done. Bend your knees. Take the band to the floor. Let's hug our knees to our chest, sitting up. And this time coming up to kneeling. So you're facing the front. You're going to take your right leg out to the side. We're going to place the band under our left hand. Now the hand goes directly under the shoulder, falling to the side, just a couple of inches further out from there. So we've got the hand in front of our body, holding onto the band nice and, nice and firm. Pull your shoulders back. Stretch that leg right out, and then I want you to move it forward a couple of inches, rotate the heel down, squeeze your glutes, and draw your belly in. Now from here, we're gonna do a leg lift and an arm lift at the same time. So your arm will go forward slightly. Let's do 12. Slowly down. 11. Stay open in your body, don't slouch. 10. 9. Good, and 8. 7. Getting our glutes now, six. You might notice the stabilizing leg, the, the leg that you're kneeling on, working as well. Four, and three, two, and one. Great for the shoulder muscles. Theraband workouts are so good. Let's do, do the other side now. For developing deep strength in the muscles, but getting you aligned and really targeting little muscles that you may not normally feel if you're doing body weight exercises or weights. So it allows you that resistance on the way up and the way down on both phases of our movements. Breathe in, breathe out. So remembering that that, that leg is forward a couple of inches, the heel is down. Breathe in, breathe out. We've got about eight more. And seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now let's take our band underneath the hands. What we're gonna do is put it long ways under your right knee and your right hand. So we come into a kneeling position. We place our right knee on the band. It's straight out in front of you so that when we come down to the hands, the right hand will grab the band. Okay, so the hand is just out from the shoulder a little bit. Tighten and scoop your belly. Pick up the band and then we're gonna stretch our left leg back. Now when you lift your leg, I want you to make sure your back doesn't bend. Keep it tucked under slightly. Your alignment, your abs switched on. Stretch the leg back with the opposite arm pulling the band forward for 10. Now pull the knee towards the chest, but don't touch the floor. And nine. And eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five, making sure our shoulders stay level, our hips stay level. Three. Two. And one, hold it here for five, four, three, two. Lift and down, well done. Let's come up and we'll change sides. Place the band long ways again, this time of course under the left knee. So kneeling up, set your shoulders down and back and then place the hands down underneath your shoulders at the front. Pick up the band with your left hand, draw your belly in, ribs tucked, Stretch the other leg back this time with the arm for 10. And in towards the chest. Nine. Your goal here is to not fall, not wobble. Seven. Breathe out. Six. Five. Four. Almost there. Three. Two, hold this one out for five, four, three, two, 
One. Well done. Place your band to the side. We're going to move into 15 push-ups, tricep push-ups. So you can do these on the knees or the toes, depending where your strength level is at. We've got our so shoulders set back. Elbows coming in towards the ribs. 15. And 14. 13. 12. 11. Keep going. And 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Keep the body straight and strong. 4. 3. 2. 1. Well done. Stretch back. Feet together, knees slightly apart. And stretch forward for a few breaths here. Good. Coming down onto your tummy now. We're going to place the TheraBand below our hips. I want you to squeeze your inner thigh muscles together and keep your knees off the ground by squeezing your thighs. Think of yourself getting really long and tall here. Reach the crown of the head forward, tuck your chin into your chest. Take a breath in. Now the palms of the hands, by the way, are facing up. Grab onto the band. Lift your chest, draw your tummy in, keep your legs grounded, squeeze your inner thighs and glutes. Now pull the band sideways for five, four, both arms moving sideways, three, two, one, and return to the floor. Take a breath in and out, lifting in, lifting up, and stretch, five, four, great arm work here, and upper back, one, and down. Let's do three more sets, lift, squeeze the inner thighs, draw the tummy in for five, four, three, try and tuck those ribs in two, don't push them into the floor, two more times, lift, stretch those legs away from you, five, four, lengthening out the lower back, two, one, and down, one more time, lift, and stretch five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Place the band to the floor. We're going to do one more exercise to strengthen our back. This is the swimming exercise. Pull the shoulders back, draw your tummy in. Keeping the legs nice and straight so the leg comes up, the knee doesn't bend here, so keep it really straight. Arms and legs lifting off the floor, draw your belly in and start moving up and down. 10, 9, opposite arm and leg, 8, 7, 6, 5, lift up, 4, arms high, 3, 2, 1. Might feel a little uncoordinated doing that. You'll get it over time though. Good. From here. Hands, knees, step back one foot and then the other to a full plank. Hold it here for 5, 4, 3, 2, one, down to the knees, and kneeling up, good. Okay, grabbing your band. You're gonna hold the palms of your hands up, sitting up facing the front, shoulders are set back. Your hands are shoulder distance apart. I want you to pull the band apart. As you do it, go halfway, not all the way where it comes in towards you, Otherwise, you're not getting the correct muscles. So we want to do the back of the shoulders. So that's just halfway out and underneath here as well, under your lats. 12. And in. 11. And 10. 9. Keep it controlled. 8. Breathe in. 7. 6. 5. Four, good, and three, two, one. Well done. Triceps. So you're going to take the band, I'll just turn side on so that you can see. You're going to hold the band with one hand at your lower back. And then you're going to hold the other hand behind, keeping the band nice and taut. And then stretch up for 15. 14. Keep your tummy in. Ribs pull down, 12, keep 
keep the elbow close to the ear. 10, breathing out and nine, and eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Let's change sides, just turn the other side so you can see the setup here. You've got your hand underneath your lower back and then the other hand just below the neck area. Pull your shoulders back, draw the tummy in and stretch up for 15, 14, 13, 12. Keep that elbow next to the ear. 10, 9, good, and 8, 7, Six, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Getting a nice little arm workout today, as well as the core. So we're going to come up to a full side bend. I'd like you to bring the hand just out from underneath the shoulder there, fingers pointing to the sides. Now the top leg here, the foot is in front of the ankle, the bottom leg just crossed over. So from this bent position we're going to move ourselves up into a full side bend and then we're going to twist and move the arm underneath. So if you've got any wrist problems you can do this one with your legs straight and on your elbow instead like this okay but otherwise I'd like you to try the full version. Taking a deep breath in set your shoulders let's get our core and our legs and our upper body strength working together. Press down and lift up nice and easy and then twist under look behind back to centre and down, two to go and lift and under and in and down and lift, under, over and down, good, let's do that on the other side, bring the legs around, taking the hand out just from the shoulder there, other foot crosses in front and lifting up, stretch and under side, down, two more times, and lift, under, side, down, good, and one more, lift, under, side, and down, well done. We're going to do a couple more exercises to strengthen and tone our backside and glutes. So I want you to tie the band up just over the knees, okay, so just a little bit higher than the knees. Do it fairly tight like you're doing up your shoelaces, and then one bow there. So we're going to pop onto the side, bring your knees forward and line up your feet with your hips, bending the arm underneath the head here. First thing is we've got to have space under the waistline. So the trick to do that is to move this top hip away from your ribs. So you're pulling up off the side there, you should be able to fit your hand underneath it. Take a deep breath in, draw your belly in, keep your shoulders back. Just because we're laying down doesn't mean that we have to slump and relax. We're still actively working muscles. Keep your heels pressing together. Push your heels together nice and firm. Breathe in, stretch the top knee up against the band for 10. And nine. Good, and eight. Seven. Six. Really strengthening those deep hip muscles. Five. Four. Three. Good, and two, one. Now hold the knee, stretch the leg forward. Now your knees are on top of each other. Tap the floor for 10. Up, nine, up against the band. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you feel it yet? Four, three, two, one. Hold it there, pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. That's enough of those, other side. Let's bring it around and then we're nearly done. Bring the arm under the head, bring the knees forward, line up your feet with your hips, set your shoulders back. Press the heels nice and firm together. Breathe in, open and down. Now if you want to make it even harder, you can push against your leg, but the band will give you that resistance. Remember, have that gap under your waist as best you can. And lift, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And four, really press the heels. Try not to let your quad 
do this one. We want our butt muscles and our glutes to do it. And one hold. Stretch forward, tap for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, nearly there. 3, 2, hold, pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep working, tummy. 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa-ho! Feel that one. And this is even with a light resistance band. You don't even have to have such a heavy band to do an effective workout and really get those correct deep muscles doing the work, not overdoing it with our global muscles, the muscles that we tend to use with bigger uh, movements. Stretch out our glutes now. Cross, cross one leg over. And swap sides. And just one more to finish here. Let's wrap the band back around both feet, stretching forward. Now, bands are also a great way to help you to build up to full roll-ups or whatever you want to call these movements. Some people call them sit-ups. With a roll-up, you want to stay nice and long in your spine. Keep the legs grounded and lifting up so the band will help you just that little bit. So if you're a complete beginner and you need that assistance, what you'll do is go halfway back if it's a bit much for you just yet to kind of come up and you're getting stuck, you want to work through that sticking point. So you go half or three quarters of the way back, build on that strength till you're a bit shaky, then come up. Okay, and then we'll add a little stretch forward here. So let's do five roll-ups with the band. Stretch the legs right into it. Lengthen your whole body out. Scoop your belly, come down, lift and up. Stretch forward, lift, and down. Still a couple more. Lift, down. Up, and down. Keep the legs grounded, good. Lift, and stretch up, and bring the hands behind you. Stretch forward for four, three, two, one and back around. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share the videos, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.